Welcome back to another episode of Seek on the Speed 252. I want to thank you for pushing that play button. I want to thank you for joining me back on the channel. If you have not subscribed to this channel yet, please do. I would love to have you part of the community and so would everybody else. Sorry I've been away for a while. I had death in the family, but now I am back. Please continue to watch my video uploads on Monday, Wednesday, Friday. I will release them before 4 p.m. Once again, I do plan to release videos Monday, Wednesday, Friday before 4 p.m. That is my goal. I know YouTube did not give alerts out anymore regarding YouTube videos, so I'd like to give you an update of the schedule. So recently, there's been a photo online um, with the president of GM sitting inside a Corvette, well, technically a C8 mini engine Corvette on a passenger seat. That photo is online, so if you want to go check it out, definitely go check it out. For all of you who don't know who Mark is, Mark is the General Motors executive president of the global product development who was actually in the Corvette 01 2019 01 during the race in Detroit when he wrecked slash totaled it when he actually hit the sidewall. I read a few comments and some people or subscribers of the channel said they'd rather see him actually in the passenger seat than the driver's seat of the prototype C8 mid-engine Corvette. So once again, Mark was spotted recently inside of the C8 mid-engine Corvette, which kind of tells me possibly this car is close to being finished, if not finished, and he could be just testing out, going for a ride, giving his thoughts about it before this car is revealed pretty soon, which I am hoping for in April or in May. Once again, I want to thank you personally for pushing that play button and tuning into this video. If you have not subscribed to the channel yet, I would love for you to push that subscribe button and be a part of this channel as well. So here's another slide that I wanted to show you all. So we can take a lot from this slide right now. Um, without further ado, I'm going to hop into a few things that I think about this slide. It is starting to tell me that somewhere out there in the United States, at some of these dealerships, they are now able to tap into their system and pretty much place an order for a 2020 C8 minutes in Corvette. Now, by no means, do not get it confused. I am not saying you can go down to your local dealership Walk in there and say, hey, can I place an order for a C8 mini engine Corvette? Because I doubt some of these local dealerships, especially the smaller ones, will be able to tap in their system and do what we see right in front of us right now on this current slide. I don't know exactly where this dealership is located. I mean, you can see at the top um, the name of it, but, you know, who knows what's going on and how this photo could be altered. I have no idea. Um, but at the end of the day, it seems to me that GM is really getting close to revealing this car and um, you can see that the code for this pretty much C8 Miniature Corvette Coupe um, Steam Ray is what they're going to call it is 1YC07 and down below you can see Corvette Steam Ray Convertible 1YC67 now do I know these codes are accurate I do not know but it looks like from what is shown here it is possible that this could be accurate if you look at the top of the right hand corner um, it says division Chevrolet car. It says allocation group vet. I personally don't know of any other car that GM builds that's called a vet. So I'm assuming once again this is a Corvette. Um, if you take a look down below, it says order type, trade, retail, stock, um, Parati 99, quantity one. Um, if you take a look at the left side of this picture, it says model year 2020, which we all assuming that the mid engine Corvette will be a 2020 model. Once again, this is telling us that is very possible that the 2020 mini engine Corvette could be revealed pretty soon. Now with this photo, it doesn't tell us a lot more. It says choose your model, choose your options summary. So it seems like, you know, if they click on choose your options and choose your summary, it will probably give us a little bit more information than they want us to have already. But this is enough. This is enough for me to notice that this car is around the corner and I'm super excited about it. I'm sure you all too, because we've been waiting to see this for years. Um, literally been waiting to see this for years. I love my C7 Corvette. I truly do. I love the body style. I think it's one of the best body styles that they have ever made. But I truly believe this C7, I'm sorry, C8 main engine Corvette will knock our socks off. Um, a lot of people didn't like the C7 Corvette when they first came out and started falling in love with it. One thing they didn't like was the tail lights. So I'm kind of curious to see exactly what the tail lights going to look like on the C8 main engine Corvette once it is finished. I truly believe some people will be against the C8 mini Corvette when it first came out, especially the tail lights. But at the end of the day, we all, not we all, some of us don't like things when they come out in the beginning, but we tend to grow on us at the end. I truly think I will fall in love with the C8 mini Corvette when it first comes out. There may be some things I wouldn't like about it, but at the end of the day, my true dream car is a Lamborghini. And I guarantee you, if I bought a Lamborghini tomorrow, which I won't because I can't afford, probably won't be able to afford a C8 mini Corvette either, but... 
if I saw a Lamborghini in person, I'm sure I can find five to ten things I do not like about that car. There's also something I want to point out that a lot of people have been talking about as well. There's a lot of Corvette dealerships out there right now that is taking deposits for the C8 Vintage Corvette. Um, some of them are taking $2,000 deposits and some of them are taking $1,000 deposits. It's completely up to you whether or not you obviously want to put down a deposit for this car. Either way, I still think the C8 Vintage and Corvette will be a car that they make a lot of. So do I think it's necessary to probably put down $1,000 or $2,000 deposit? Probably not. Um, just because these dealerships are offering this deposit doesn't mean you need to run out there to them and put down a deposit. Now we all know that some of these dealerships will get their allocations based off how many Corvettes they have sold um, you know, throughout the C7 generation years, what a case, or per year, what a case may be. Now, some of the larger dealerships will get allocations before some of the smaller dealerships. Now, that doesn't mean that um, the smaller dealerships may not get their first CA Minish Corvette right away. Um, that just means they may not get all their allocations at one time. But at the end of the day, I think GM knows who their customer base is, and they'll probably make enough cars to go around for a lot of us. So while you're pondering on the first question I asked you earlier, here's my second question. What do you think about this current photo that I have in front of you right now? I definitely want you to leave your thoughts down below. Continue watching the rest of this video because I got some real meat and potatoes coming up to you after this next slide. But definitely ponder on what your thoughts are about this current photo in front of you right now. Once again, this is the best channel to be a part of when it comes to C8 Minis and Corvette information. So if you take a look at this photo right here, this is another interior shot of the C8 Minis and Corvette. Now, this is our first time seeing this actual photo. If you take a look, I will say one thing that stands out to me that I truly like are these seats. These seats really look sporter to me. Um, they look similar to what the seats would be in like a top of the line C7 Corvette. In my current Grand Sport, I do not have the competition seats. Now, to be completely honest with you, these seats may not come in a very base model C8 Vintage and Corvette. So the reason why I'm talking about this photo, because I know a lot of you has been seeing things and hearing things about this current photo, and this photo tells us a lot about the C8 Vintage and Corvette. What does it tell us? Boom, there you have it. The C8 Vintage and Corvette seems like it will retain the Stingray name. Now, a lot, a lot of people was like that it would be called Zora right off the back. It may not retain the Stingray name. It will be called the Grand Sport right off the back, but it looks like this car will be called a Stingray based off this photo that we see right now. I truly believe that these competition seats may not be in a base model Stingray. It may be in like the 3LZ top of the line Stingray, but this is considered at this point a Stingray in my personal opinion. Now, I know I spoke to some other Corvette owners that own C7 or previous gen Corvettes. Um, in person and online in the Corvette form. I know a lot of them aren't happy about this car possibly being considered called a Steamware because they do not believe this is no longer a Corvette anymore. They believe this is some European lookalike or Ferrari lookalike at the end of the day. So while you are pondering on the first question and the second question, here's my third question. What do you think of this current photo is in front of us about this car possibly retaining the Stingray name. Do you like this idea or do you do not like this idea? Leave your thoughts down below. Once again, I want to point out the fact that I do believe that this current Stingray that's in front of us, the C8 Vintage Corvette, is not a base model. It will be like a base slash 3LZ type of Corvette Stingray. It won't be like a base slash 1LZ because these seats to me, I don't believe will come in a base model Stingray unless somehow GM has some idea of better looking seats than these current ones, which is possible. But as far as I know, GM hasn't been really great at designing cars these days. So this 2020 20, uh, Silverado doesn't look great to me, but some people do like it. At the end of the day, I hope this C8 Miniature Corvette will come out looking stunning and look like something that you know people will just fall in love with right away. And you know, I'm really appreciate what GM is doing right now and giving us little photos here and there to keep us intrigued, to keep us excited about this car. Granted, I will say they are taking a very long time to reveal this car, and I don't think they should go any longer past April, in my personal opinion. But once again, thank you truly for pushing that play button. Thank you all who are currently subscribed to my channel, or who are new to subscribe to my channel. I really appreciate you being a part of this community. I look forward to driving across the world in my current C7 Corvette and possibly the C8 Ninja Corvette and seeing you all across the world. This is an awesome channel. I am glad to be back. Once again, I upload Monday, Wednesday, and Fridays before 4 p.m. Today, I just want to release this video on this Saturday because I really believe there's good information you would like to see. All my followers who have asked us in the past, you are more than welcome to share these videos wherever you like on any social media platform. Feel free to share it because I'm sure there's a lot of people who don't know anything about these current photos we have right now. I would like to get their opinions as well about these current photos. 
I had to actually take down a previous Mini Engine Coil video to replace it with this one. Thank you. Once again, thank you for watching Seagon Speed 252.